This is The Scene on BBC Radio London with Ori Styler. This is The Scene. Doja Cat, Juicy. My name's Ori Styler. This is BBC Radio London, The Scene. I've got my next guest in the building, comedy sister of mine and friend to the room. She's been here before. She's back. What's going on, Miss Tanya Moore? What's going on? How are you doing, sis? You good? I'm excited. I've had a bit of coffee. Sorry. <laughs> You know what? I need one of those as well. I it's need a, bit a coffee. Late. <laughs> nah, you're all right. I need a coffee because you're 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 hyped up and I'm like mellow today. I'm on it. You're on it. I can see I'm big grin. <laughs> so first things first, welcome back. You uh, were in uh, Ed for how long? A whole That's month, Ed- man. Edinburgh, ladies and gentlemen. I was in Edinburgh for a, a whole month. No, like, it was like three and a half weeks, but I'm gonna say a whole month. And I'm how gonna, was it? It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think I'd enjoy it. That's the truth. Why? Um, be, I'm, I'm a homebody. I like, okay. I like being at home. I like being around my surroundings. I like having my family close to me, even if I don't talk to them for the month. I just want them close to me. <laughs> you know Fair enough. I mean? So being away, I, I get attachment issues real quick, real fast. See, but I it, get that. It went fast. I didn't even realise I was gone. It's only when I was ill, that's when I was like, oh, I'm yeah, not I saw, home. Yeah, I saw you posting up about being ill. You had to, you had to cancel one of the gigs, didn't two. you? Two. was it two? And it was Friday three. and Saturday. So that's how you know oh, I was hot ill. days as well. You, you know I wouldn't do that. Mm. So I had to cancel those gigs begrudgingly I had to go to hospital twice uh, was it it was that rough it was that rough it was that rough that I still have it Edinburgh food is different you it's, know it's gone now right it's like they're seagulls it's more aggressive wait can you can we just clarify you said you still have what I still have it can you stay where you are How are you no, gonna come I already and give kissed you it's fine <laughs> you come and give me a hug and a kiss and say hi Babe, sis sibling share stuff yeah yeah just <laughs> not your diseases please keep that on that side of the room how about that ew <laughs> Ew, excuse me, uh, producer Kim, can we please get uh, some disinfectant? And, oh and no, bottles, yeah, Thank I would. You. <laughs> Thank you very much, and uh, uh, yeah, and bring the uh, the alcohol gel. Thank hey, you. it's at about ten percent now. That's still enough percent. No. Like, <laughs> That's still enough percent. You take 10% out of my money right now, I'm vexed. I notice it. No, you 10% won't. of disease is still 10%. 10% out of your money is is not a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Safe, Tanya. Safe. You What's see how that? some people go to Edinburgh and come back bossy, isn't no, it? Hold on. It's not bossy. I went to Edinburgh and now I'm a little bit funny. <laughs> wow, do you hear this? Do you hear this? Some people get called Molly now and all of a sudden they want to look at me sideways. Oh Ow. my God. Uh, let's talk about Molly real quick, right? Ladies Done. and gentlemen, uh, this wonderful woman in front of me uh, landed an amazing role. We spoke about it briefly the last time she was here. Yeah. Right? And uh, you couldn't talk too much about it, I believe. No, because it hadn't been released. Exactly, yet. but you mm. can do now. So what am I talking about? Can tell you everything. Let's I, go. Uh, I was the new coach on Jamie John- Johnson on CBBC, yep. which was fantastic. It was a 13-week show. I had 12 weeks in it, and I loved every second. Nice. I still watch it on BBC iPlayer. What's it like to watch yourself back like that? Weird. <laughs> Isn't it? At first. <laughs> and then I watched the scene like I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I got work there. No, you, no but you, 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 because it's so long ago, you actually forget and how they yeah, edit it. You're like, well, I wonder how they pieced it yeah, together. Yeah, because the thing is, you do, and the thing is, what happens is you shoot one day, but you shoot that one day over a yeah. course of days. So it's really weird to see, and you know that that day, okay, that day I wasn't feeling good, and you can tell at that part of the section of the scene, mm. I wasn't feeling good. I can tell. I hope no one else can tell. You know what I mean? And you go through <laughs> those emotions. But it's nice to watch because I give myself notes. Not that I can fix them, but I give myself <laughs> notes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice That's it was a nice still... experience it was my first experience my first TV job so yeah. it was nice man. it was nice do you know what I'm proud of you it's Thank like you. for those who don't know uh, me and Tanya are also on the same camp so it's nice to see when your sister's winning because it just makes sense when everyone when you see someone winning in your team it's like you know what yeah yeah we're the right team yeah yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah agencies yeah, are doing it they're doing this it this is what it. I'm they're saying doing our agents are doing it they're doing it they're doing it so like T you've come back from Ed yep You've obviously you've done the t- the work with uh, James Jamie Johnson. Jamie Johnson. I was mm-hmm. I was gonna say James Jameson. That's a character from Spider Man. Sorry. Um, <laughs> You're yeah. Such a geek. Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jamie Johnson. Um, also, I think the last time we spoke, I don't think did we we did announce it. You also were the the the, the, the new the genie, the tangerine. Yes, I was. Yeah. Cause I beat you. So it's fine. Yeah. You know we what? That. Why that. shade it like <laughs> that? Why shade it Bez, like that? You know. That it was a big audition. Yeah. I can't downplay it. Okay, it was a massive audition. It was massive. And, and I'm not going to lie, I couldn't believe I, I got, got the job. We all know that we all went in thinking it was going to be well, a guy. Half of us went in there thinking it was going to be Cat. Yeah. So, do you know what I mean? I walked in and I saw Cat, and I was like, why is anybody else coming Yeah, here? you thought he won it because yeah, he, he was, like, was perfect we? for the role. But yeah. you know what? Sometimes people look and go, well, even though you'd be great, we want to try something a little different. And they went with you. And you was not so... Even... When I say you wasn't supposed to be there, it... 
the casting was for a male. Mm. And I literally, think, I think my, my agency was like, "Well, she's not a man, but she can do the job. Can you give her an audition?" Exactly. Do you know what I mean? And I think that was well done to you. Thank you. And then the part of me that's vexed. Because oh. I never got the part myself. No, it's okay. Do you know why? Because remember, you joined my agency and then we went for an audition and then I didn't get the job and you did. Do you remember? Even yeah, though you couldn't do the true. job, it's fine. It's true. But you had your, your karma already. You've had your payback. Yeah, I get it. I get <laughs> you've it. it. You've had it. So, T, yeah. what's next? What's going on next? Well, there's so much going on. Now that I've come back from Edinburgh, I did yeah. a, a split hour with my girl, Sean Davies. And um, next year, I'm going to be doing my full hour. It'll be my debut hour. Yes. So um, I'm very excited about that because I'm ready. I'm ready to debut in Edinburgh. Mm. I'm ready for these critics to see me. I want to hear what these reviewers have to say. Yeah. I want to hear what the audience have to say. I want to see how much stars I will get. I want to see if I'm going to be nominated. Like all of that, I'm excited to see it. So I'm mm. just going to work hard until next year. In the meantime, uh, we pray for a TV job to come through. Yes. There's lots in the pipeline, but you know, there's no point in talking about it until you sign on a dotted line, is there? Mm. So, you know, you just wait to see what comes your way, really. But it's, also, it's also speaking into existence as yeah. well. It's nice to, to, to kind of put that affirmation out there. Hey, listen, this is what we're going for. This is what we want to happen. Totally. Bam, let's go for it. Totally. I'm not going to be like, I just want to go Edinburgh and like have a good time. No, I want to be nominated. Yeah. I want to leave there and everyone's like, oh my God, I need to work with that girl. It needs to happen yesterday. So we're mm. like kind of in a, in a in a beginner space with that now. I had a great Edinburgh. I've come back. There's loads to do. Um, I booked a week off for a break. I'm still waiting for said week off for this break. This because not happening. You know the ones this there where it's like you've got to jump on it now. <clears throat> you've got to wait till like January to get that week off. See now. Right, right now, this is where everything climbs. You should yeah. know this, man. You're not. There's no week off now. This is where everything picks up again and then... When January hits, maybe the first two weeks, you can go, you know what? Let me have a breather. Yeah, I might book a holiday from now yeah. for that date. Um, but in the meantime, if anyone wants to put me in a commercial, feel free. Um, <laughs> also, I act. A lot of people think I'm a comedian, but my, my, my first love is acting. I'm yeah. really good at it. If you want to do a self-tape, I can do I'm really good at those as well, self-tapes. They don't do nothing, but I'm great at them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Oh, it's Hold exciting. on, T. No, it's not exciting. Oh. Didn't I lend you my, my, my camera stand for the self No, you gave it to me. No, no, didn't I lend you the camera stand? No, nah, let me tell you why your brother's a cook now. <laughs> right? Now, sorry, guy, I know you're on Ray J, but I'm talking to Ori's brother. I forget Ori. So this is what happened. Ori lent me the camera stand, yeah? And so I called him. I said, I want to buy one. Send me the link where you got it from. He said, you know what? You keep that one. I'm going to buy another one. <laughs> Is that what I said? Black people, you know. Is now, that what I said? Now on Big Big Radio, you know. Big Is that big what I said? Cost. Is that what big, I said? Not even, not even Pirate Radio. Is that big what I national. said? National. Is that what I said? National, you know. Sometimes brother. I forget how nice I am, you know. Bruv. I thought and, I said, and, are and you going to buy me one? And look for money. Do you know when he gave it to me? I was still doing Jamie Johnson. It's true, you know. Filming it. It was big, in, It was kind if I gave it to you. Big year there, ago, yeah. you know. <laughs> big whole year ago. Black people. Came a year <laughs> later for the ting. It's, I've had it too long now. Even if you went back, it's mine. I've had it too long. Yeah, it's true. I've got loads of stuff like I've that. How much DVDs I got? On you. you have DVDs I got which belong yeah. to me now. <laughs> now. I think my brother, you got one of my DVDs that belong to you now. Yeah, jump up. silence there. Watch him. Look at his face. Jump up. silence. Look at him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. <laughs> yeah, that? what's that yours? Always asking for uh, a camera stand. I'm collecting like Ori 50 cents. I took one of his favorite I'm... jumpers about three years ago. And oh, he did you? For that back. Did you? Yeah, I've been wearing it for three years as well. I bet you put pictures of it. I'm like, that's a nice jumper. You yeah, know, I want exactly. one of them myself. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Facts. I got the jumper still. Yeah. I got about nine Comedy Mania jumpers. <laughs> I see, I got more jumpers coming. So whenever you're ready, you just I'm bring on, them. I trust you. I go on tour in uh, three weeks, <laughs> in it. So. Oh, they'll, yeah. be, they'll be, there's always work to do. You see the way tour. he just dropped the tour in just real fast. Says the like woman that, who came yeah. on the station said, you know what, if you want to hire me for a commercial. Yeah, yeah but that's, yeah. that's me begging. You're confirming that your, <laughs> your stuff's already happening. Hey, 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 you beg for now because you got a part <laughs> I was begging for. How about, that. you know what I mean? So there we beg that. back when we're ready, yeah? It's okay. The money's gone now. We can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love when you come in here sometimes, man. You're, you're amazing. <laughs> Man says you're, sometimes. Sometimes. There's other times. There's other no, times. Like, the... <laughs> sometimes. There's, when you came in and gave me a hug and kiss, I'm like, nah, you got disease, man. <laughs> no, so those are the times I don't like when you're here in it, sis. But before that, you know what I mean? It's all love. <laughs> <laughs> now, T, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you on air because I know um, I can. And yep. you're going to answer me honestly because uh, <laughs> you're not going to lie to me on this one, <laughs> which is great. 
Um, first things first, I need you to cover a show for me in a couple of weeks' time. We'll talk about when. Standard. There we go. See, this is what it's like to talk to your sister. Because <laughs> if she said this thing, I do on air. Because if she if she goes, oh, I can't make it, I would have to remind people what. Oh I, no, that's bad it's man. You know. No, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> or he's that brother. You know. You know. You got one brother you can go to, and he'll commit the crime with you. But always that brother that'll commit the crime and then snitch. <laughs> yeah. Cause we're like Miss Radio. Yeah. Two times on radio in ten minutes. You know? Yeah. Expose my whole business <laughs> nationally. <laughs> Yeah, why not? God, let me hear what else you got to say. And another thing I want to ask you about, right? Um, <laughs> so we're going into this thing called cuffing season. Oh, Lord. Have you, you know what cuffing Give season me is? all the strength. You know what cuffing season is? It's, it's the winter warmer. Yes, that's mm-hmm. exactly what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Now, uh, first things first, uh, any time in your life have you ever looked and said, you know what, cuffing season, now I need to find me a nice partner. Totally. Yeah? Totally. What's the what's why 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 must you during this season? Why must it be winter? You have to find someone to be with. For me, it's not really winter. It's more so my birthday's in December and I want a present. This is, I, did, I said this. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Your birthday's December. You want a compounding present of Christmas and your birthday, innit? Yeah, because it's, it's within five days of each other. Wow. Now yeah. you come. Uh, tell me, you did not come from a family that just bought you the one present set for both. No, because I gave them back. Oh, serious? Yeah, yeah. When I was, when I was five, I started giving them back because they because I used to get birthday p- cards that were. Christmas cards and it said Merry Christmas and, and happy, happy birthday, birthday but here's the bit that got me up mad because I'm a logical person yeah birthday should be first yeah it's true my birthday is the 20th yeah it's true and then Christmas so, you buy so me I the was card. mad twice <laughs> so you bought me a Christmas card for yeah, my birthday yeah. and you didn't buy me a separate birthday and then card. you got it all the wrong yeah liberty take back your things man yeah liberty so liberty. people stopped buying me um, one thing they bought me two things okay Um, and so what they would do is it just meant that my friends would then just buy me two pick and mixes opposed to one or buy one pick and mix and take out the toys and then give me one on the birthday and you're like why is she giving me half the toy and then by the day you're like oh that's why she gave that's me how half it goes the toy. yeah yeah all right so we're going to talk cover season a little later on right yes. i want and i think t i think you're probably the best person to i'm gonna ask you now right uh because you got to shoot off, I think. So we're gonna. I'm gonna ask you now. Go best on. advice to secure the cuff for cuffing season. Yo. Best advice to se- secure the thing for cuffing season. Do you know what? So a guy likes a girl. Girl likes a guy. Yeah. They're like, you know what? Winter's coming. Game of Thrones is done. I, but it's still gonna get cold. How do I secure my little settle down for cuffing season? Food, man. <laughs> Just feed them. It's food. It's. Fu- I tell you what, because. Food is the best thing, and that's how we love, first of all. Yes. Okay. Black women, we love with food. And now, if you're dating a black woman and she don't love you with food, she don't like you, bruv. Leave her. Wow. Nah. <laughs> we love with food. We will feed you. Yeah. I can't, you might, I can't stand you, but I will still feed you. That's love. That's facts, isn't it? Yeah. So it's food. If you already like me and we're just looking for a bit of companionship, the only thing that's missing out of what we already got going on is a meal. Facts, man. Yeah. They, they come back if you can cook, as if you can cook. If you can't cook, just re- just hug really good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just like get your hug, hugging you game go. down. Just stay, stay here. Stay yeah, here. Like, you don't, you're not hugging. Yeah, because when, no I, when I couldn't cook, uh, my hugging game was strong. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Them hugs around the neck. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they're fire. I love Tanya, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This is Tanya Moore in the building. Tanya, how can people follow you and see what you're up to? Oh, Lord, get a pen. Um, my <laughs> name is Tanya Moore, uh, T-H-A-N-Y-I-A. Yes, you heard me right. T-H-A-N-Y-I-A. No, I didn't make up for comedy purposes because it takes too long. Yeah. My dad did that. My name is Tanya Moore. It's everything. My website, all my social media, just Tanya Moore. You'll see me. I'm the bald girl, no longer with dreadlocks. Can I also say, all right, I remember I met your dad at one of the Lord UKG brunches. God. You are a spitting image of your father. I know. Oh my god! Like now, you get what wow. I say when I say to people, "I'm a man with hair." <laughs> I'm literally my dad. He is with hair. Oh my god! Well, well, well. well used well, to you be. Used to have now hair. I'm Not just any, a man. Now anymore, you're just a dude. <laughs> man, dem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here church seeing girls left, right, and center. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, Yo. this is Tanya Moore in the building. I'm going to play some music right now. Tanya, thank you for coming <laughs> down, my you. love. Much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Ding Dong Fling.